like about the sea anyway? What, uh, how does it make you feel? Well, Max, that depends. If I'm on the sea, the sea makes me feel terrified because I'm afraid of the sea because I am part of a society that is able to control practically the whole of the terrestrial environment but yeah. cannot control the sea. I can sit here by the sea and I can begin to feel my essential animality. I feel like an animal when I am by the sea. I don't feel like a human being anymore because I have fear. I am vulnerable to the sea. You know, and this is a great thing about human society. We tend to believe we are invulnerable, and that's madness. Just bloody madness. It's going to destroy us. The truth about us is that we are a bad species, becoming more and more unnatural. And in so doing, we probably have doomed ourselves already. It is not pessimistic, it's optimistic. Because with our elimination, and we're going to eliminate ourselves, life will carry on, and it will be as if we never have existed upon this earth. And the earth will be green where it should be green, and blue where it should be blue, and there will be lots of life without us. The Indians in this frozen land tell of a ghost dog which runs at the head of the wolf pack, where it has more strength than any wolf, more cunning than any dog. No one knows from whence he came, nor why he stays. Okay, hey, hey. Welcome to Camping with Steve. Just getting dropped off here on the side of the road. Hello, YouTube. My name is Steve, driving around, drinking a coffee, and looking for places to camp. Most people live in an urban setting, and they don't really get to experience nature. Kids playing in the park. This guy throwing football around with his kid right now. And I'm just here like, I want to hunker down. I don't get scared a lot. I'm scared of security guards and police and bears. I can't do this. And heights. Beautiful wife just dropped me off. So I'm going to crawl in here. It's time to go. I'm going to take another quick nibble. I just really like camping. <laughs> and for dinner, beautiful wife just whipped up a salad. Behind me is the perfect roundabout. I crawled in there the other day. You just know there's a bunch in there. Cougars, wolves, the whole bit. It's the real deal, guys. Coming down the trail. My heart just stopped there. That's exactly what I was always afraid of. That was kind of cool. I ran into a subscriber here. He was honking at me. Honey garlic noodles. A nice noodle dish. Makes me feel alive, I guess. I don't know. You know, there's dangers. You know, there's bears out there. It's just a beer. But that's okay because um, that's an eggnog for later. So that's going to be a really nice treat. Mm. Why am I exposing myself to the intrinsic indignity of being projected into your living room tonight? It's a good question. Somebody's here. The reason that I am doing this... There's a vehicle out there. I'm just some creepy old guy in the woods with a camera. Because I need contact. I need contact with my wife, the dog here. But I need contact with you. In the world we live in, where contact is becoming more and more ephemeral, I need contact. And I can alleviate my fear in some small degree by letting you see something of me. What I really have to worry about is later at night when they're laying in bed and see some flashlight in the woods behind their house. And that would be a bad thing. We got a vehicle that stopped right there, backed up, and put on his lights. Ah. Shelter is set up. Time for uh, step two. And you guys are a fully legal age to be drinking in the state that you came from. Bottoms up! This is truly the season of camp. We got a vehicle that stopped right there, backed up, put on his lights, and I don't know if it's a cop, but it might be. There's a flashlight. Call the cops. Definitely, uh, definitely a cop. Oops, that was the flashlight. I don't get spooked out by like paranormally stuff. But last night, I had the feeling that I was being watched. It's 100% the police. 100% the police. Turn off the light glow. This is neat, eh? <laughs> that gets the blood pumping. 
Oh, she's He's coming. There he is. We have a problem. We have a problem. We have a problem. We have a big, big, big problem. The only reason there's a camping with Steve at all is because of Jess. Um, if, if I'd never met her, I'd still be living in a motorhome trying to finish a, a documentary. Pour my heart out a little bit here. Um, on Saturday, beautiful wife and I went to bed. On Sunday only, I woke up. trying to kill your channel. I love you, I love you, I love you. All that stuff aside, I'm gonna keep making videos, and they're gonna be different probably. But I'm still Steve. Fuck it! Jumping back on the horse, and I've seen how it's going. A lot of stuff coming down Hey, see you guys in the morning. Hey, Dave. Say hi to the world. Sleeping in a box there. So, hunker down guys, you're gonna have a lot of hot dogs. My map is, the map says there be dragons. I have no idea what's happening, what's coming, but I'm gonna jump in the car and drive with this little trailer and we're gonna see what we can find along the way. You know, maybe we'll find some stealth, maybe we'll find some waterfalls, maybe we'll find a boring old campsite, maybe we'll find an amazing campsite with, uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna ramble on forever here.